All right, you're watching Weather AM, and it is Tuesday, June the 11th, and we've got your national forecast. I'm meteorologist Chris Murphy. Always in. the happiness is mine when you can give us a few minutes of your time. We'll start off in Halifax yesterday uh, through the public gardens. Look at that sunshine. Beautiful day. And temperatures are going to be mild. In fact, warm again today. And from there, we'll go to a little bit of rain there in Port Stanley, Ontario, where temperatures in the last few days have been below seasonal. But we're going to see things turn around for you as well. And we've got a Whistler, British Columbia, which always looks stunning. And thank you, B Rad, for sharing this in. Look at that blue sky and the mountains and how green everything is. Let's take a look at your forecast. We've got the few systems watching, one in the east, one across uh, Manitoba, northwestern Ontario, and uh, certainly one in western Canada, beginning in British Columbia, where we've been seeing some rain showers. This is mostly today. Could linger a little bit into tomorrow further to the north, but the south is mainly today and along with that rain there's going to be some gusty winds as well. I've already had some pretty good winds off North Vancouver Island and through the afternoon through the southern interior those westerly winds could blow 50 60 kilometers per hour. Note the winds will be a lot lighter tomorrow and also the rain will be dissipating to that. Temperature wise for the next few days near if not a little below seasonal values uh, and looks like by Friday we'll see another shot of rain showers returning for say North Vancouver, Whistler, even Victoria, certainly over towards Abbotsford and Nanaimo. So temperatures not too hot, not too cold, more like seasonal values. So <coughs> no heat wave for you just yet. Uh, rain showers moving across central Manitoba down through northwestern Ontario and Minnesota. So that continues with that low pressure system turning our attention to energy building this afternoon and evening for thunderstorms near the Rocky Mountains. And these storms will likely start initiating on the foothills and rolling their way northeastward. So anywhere near and north of Calgary, Red Deer, Edmonton, over towards Rocky Mountain House, Sundry. These are areas that could certainly get into some of these storms this afternoon and evening. And then that risk of storms will redevelop through tomorrow central Saskatchewan over towards southern areas of Manitoba and anywhere from Prince Albert to Grand Prairie you should still get some decent rain whether or not you get your thunderstorm so again Edmonton could be on the cusp of its potentially severe weather towards the Red Deer area Drumheller Calgary we'll keep an eye on you obviously and then tomorrow that threat moves its way further east so hail strong winds local downpours are all in the cards with these storms I mentioned about the rain well we're getting the rain the focus of that will be near and north of the yellow Yellowhead Highway, another 20 to 30 millimeters worth of rain. And we've had some, but because of the cool, wet May we've had in early June, uh, the drought situation is improving. So that is good news. Uh, 21 degrees in St. John's today, scattered thunderstorms across portions of northern Newfoundland into the Maritimes, Quebec today, and likely again tomorrow. We'll also be looking at showers and thunderstorms, better risk for severe weather in northwestern Ontario through Wednesday. So that will be mainly west of thunder. Thunder Bay, but we'll keep a close eye. Southern Ontario, uh, temperatures rebounding close to seasonal values, but Thursday, hot, humid, windy, and the risk of severe weather on the ticket for you that day.